If you're over 60 and taking magnesium glycinate, you've made a wise choice. It's celebrated for being gentle on the stomach, promoting restful sleep, easing muscle tension, and supporting cardiovascular health. This reputation is well-deserved. Glycinate is one of the most bioavailable and absorbable forms of magnesium available. However, a startling reality often goes unnoticed. Many individuals are not reaping the full benefits they expect. The culprit is rarely the supplement itself, but rather a silent, daily conflict within their routine that sabotages absorption and can even produce side effects identical to magnesium deficiency. Let me clarify. After 50, the digestive environment undergoes a significant yet subtle transformation. Stomach acid production typically diminishes. The gut microbiome evolves, and the efficiency with which you absorb essential minerals, including magnesium, declines. Consequently, even a superior magnesium supplement may fail to deliver adequate support to your heart, brain, and muscles. Here's where the situation becomes complex. Magnesium glycinate is a chelated mineral, meaning it is bound to the amino acid glycine. This structure acts like a key, allowing it to pass more readily through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream. Yet, this sophisticated delivery system can be disrupted when combined with common foods, beverages, or medications. When absorption is blocked, the unabsorbed magnesium travels through your digestive system. This can lead to gastrointestinal discomfort, such as mild diarrhea, bloating, or nausea. Many misinterpret this, concluding, I must be sensitive to magnesium glycinate. In truth, their bodies are simply failing to absorb it, often due to competitive elements ingested concurrently. I frequently observe this scenario in health-conscious individuals over 60. They take their magnesium glycinate at night to aid relaxation and sleep, but they inadvertently combine it with other evening supplements or medications such as calcium, zinc, or a multivitamin that compete for the same absorption pathways. Uh, a critical, often overlooked fact is that magnesium and calcium share a transport system in the small intestine. When consumed together, your body must prioritize one over the other, and magnesium is frequently the casualty. The result? You take your supplement diligently, yet your blood levels remain stagnant, and symptoms like fatigue, achiness, and restlessness persist. The challenge intensifies after 60 as the cellular mechanisms responsible for mineral transport become less efficient. This elevates timing from a mere suggestion to a critical factor for success. So, what is the optimal time to take magnesium glycinate? The answer is nuanced. It's not solely about morning versus night. It's about the contents of your stomach. Taking magnesium immediately after a large fat or fiber-rich meal can drastically slow its absorption. Conversely, taking it on a completely empty stomach may cause mild nausea for some. The ideal window is approximately one to two hours after a light meal. This is when stomach acid and digestive enzymes are active and primed for action, but not overwhelmed by a heavy digestive load. Furthermore, we must consider medications, proton pump inhibitors for heartburn, diuretics for blood pressure, and certain antibiotics can all deplete magnesium levels or directly interfere with its absorption. For instance, acid-reducing drugs lower the stomach acidity that magnesium requires for dissolution. While glycinate is more resilient than other forms, it is not impervious to these pharmacological interactions. Think of it this way. Magnesium is the key, but the lockier digestive system changes with age. Achieving the desired outcome requires the correct timing, compatible co-nutrients, and a supportive digestive environment. The hidden saboteurs in your daily life. Now, let's identify the hidden combination that blocks magnesium absorption more effectively than anything else. It's likely in your kitchen at this very moment. It's not just about calcium or vitamin D. It's a far more common duo that quietly depletes your body's magnesium reserves daily. The combination is caffeine and sugar. Before you worry about sacrificing your morning coffee, understand the mechanism. When you consume coffee, tea, or even dark chocolate, caffeine acts as a mild diuretic. 
This prompts your kidneys to excrete more water and electrolytes, including magnesium, through urine. So, while you faithfully replenish your stores at night, your daytime habits may be actively depleting them. Now, introduce sugar into the equation. Whether from pastries, sweetened juices, or soft drinks, sugar causes a rapid spike in blood glucose. To metabolize this glucose, your body requires magnesium as a cofactor in numerous enzymatic reactions. Each sugar spike creates a significant internal demand for magnesium. When you combine caffeine, which increases magnesium excretion, with sugar, which increases magnesium demand, you create a perfect storm of depletion. This creates an absorption and loss loop that keeps your magnesium levels low, regardless of your supplement's quality. This is critically important after 60 because your kidneys naturally become less efficient at conserving magnesium. If you are taking magnesium glycinate while also consuming caffeinated and sugary drinks throughout the day, you are likely losing the mineral faster than you can absorb it. This is why many experience symptoms that mimic side effects, fatigue, muscle twitches, leg cramps, heart palpitations, anxiety, when the true issue is a simple deficit caused by this hidden combo. I've reviewed the diets of patients with confirmed magnesium deficiencies despite taking high quality supplements, and the pattern is consistent. Morning coffee, a midday sweet snack, and sometimes an evening glass of wine or chocolate. Speaking of alcohol, even moderate consumption can increase magnesium excretion. When combined with caffeine, the diuretic effect and subsequent mineral loss can be significantly compounded. The solution is not to abandon these pleasures, but to master the timing. If you are taking magnesium glycinate, separate it from caffeine or alcohol by at least four hours. If you drink coffee at 8 a.m., take your magnesium at lunch or in the early evening. If you enjoy wine with dinner, take your magnesium earlier in the day. This rhythm grants your body a clean, uninterrupted window for absorption, building a magnesium-friendly plate. The story continues at the dinner table. Even with perfect timing, your daily diet can either supercharge absorption or silently negate it. The human gut is a living ecosystem and the foods you consume directly influence its chemistry. Some nutrients facilitate magnesium's journey into the bloodstream, while others bind to it, rendering it useless. Let's begin with the common blockers. Phytates. Phytic acid, found in whole grains, beans, seeds, and nuts. Phytates are healthy antioxidants that can unfortunately bind tightly to minerals. With lower stomach acid common after 60, phytates break down less efficiently. The goal is not to eliminate these foods, but to prepare them better. Soaking beans, roasting nuts, and fermenting grains can significantly reduce phytate content, liberating magnesium for absorption. As established, calcium is a direct competitor. Spacing your calcium intake, whether from supplements or dairy-rich meals, and your magnesium dose by at least four hours is a simple yet profoundly effective strategy. Now, let's focus on the allies. Prebiotic fibers, foods like garlic, onions, bananas, and asparagus feed your beneficial gut bacteria. These bacteria in turn produce short-chain fatty acids that enhance mineral absorption throughout the intestines. Vitamin B6, found in foods like salmon, chicken, and chickpeas, B6 acts as a cellular usher, helping magnesium enter the cells where it performs its critical work. Vitamin D, this nutrient and magnesium have a symbiotic relationship. Vitamin D facilitates magnesium absorption in the gut while magnesium is required to activate vitamin D. Taking them at different times, for example, vitamin D in the morning and magnesium in the evening allows them to support one another without competition. A frequently overlooked factor is hydration. Magnesium requires adequate water to dissolve and traverse the intestinal wall. As the sense of thirst diminishes with age, chronic mild dehydration is common. Drinking a glass of plain water before taking your supplement primes the digestive system for optimal absorption. In summary, after 60, your gut is less forgiving. The difference between success and failure with magnesium glycinate hinges on three pillars. How you prepare your food, how you time your supplements, and how consistently you stay hydrated. Listening to your body's signals. Long before a blood test reveals a deficiency, your body sends subtle distress signals indicating poor magnesium absorption. Recognizing these signs allows for early correction 
Muscle tightness or twitching, particularly in the calves, eyelids, or fingers, often indicates that magnesium is not reaching the muscle cells. Restless or unrefreshing sleep can occur when magnesium fails to adequately support the nervous system and melatonin regulation. Persistent fatigue may point to impaired ATP production, the energy currency of your cells. Heart palpitations or a fluttering sensation can signal that the heart muscle lacks the magnesium needed to maintain a stable rhythm. Increased stress, sensitivity, or anxiety may arise because magnesium is crucial for regulating cortisol, the primary stress hormone. Fascinatingly, these symptoms are often not a call for a higher dose, but for better absorption. Correcting the underlying issue can resolve symptoms within weeks without increasing your intake. Here's how to correct it naturally. Simplify your supplement routine. Avoid taking a cocktail of pills simultaneously. Give magnesium glycinate its own exclusive window one to two hours away from other supplements. Support stomach acid. If you experience bloating or use acid reducers, consult your doctor. Incorporating a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice in water before meals can support a healthy, acidic environment for digestion. Nourish your gut microbiome. Incorporate prebiotic and fermented foods, yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, to maintain a gut lining that is efficient at absorbing nutrients. Prioritize consistent hydration. Sip water throughout the day rather than drinking large amounts at once. Avoid dosing too aggressively. Increasing your dose too quickly can overwhelm the intestines, causing loose stools. It is always preferable to enhance absorption of a moderate dose than to overwhelm the system. So, creating your daily magnesium rhythm. Magnesium is not merely a pill. It is a component of your body's daily biological rhythm. By aligning your habits with this rhythm, you can transform your supplement's efficacy. The Daily Rhythm Blueprint. Upon waking, begin with a glass of water to activate your digestive system and hydrate your cells. Delay your magnesium supplement, especially if you consume caffeine. Midday. This is often an optimal time for other supplements like vitamin D as metabolism and digestion are peak. Afternoon, early evening, the magnesium window. This is the ideal time for magnesium glycinate. Take it one to two hours after a light lunch or an early light dinner. Your body is shifting into a rest and digest state and stress hormones are declining. This allows magnesium to calm the nervous system in sync with your body's natural preparation for sleep, leading to deeper rest and fewer nocturnal muscle cramps.